Eric here with Maywest Manufacturing. Combine tires and tracks are expensive, and we all need to save money these days. Maywest G4 stock stompers will protect your tires and tracks from nasty stubble damage, saving you time and money down the road. Our G4 stock stompers feature a complete 12 inch wide UHMW poly shoe and torsion unit. UHMW is an extremely durable plastic and is the same material we make our CNA Pro snowmobile skis from. Our G4 stock stompers are much lighter and easier to install and reposition for storage and transport. They have a closed tail to prevent accidental damage if you happen to back up when your head is down. And if you have a folding header, you'll appreciate the much shorter profile. Today we're going to install an 8-row Maywest G4 stomper kit on this 8-row Case IH 4400 series corn head. The process is the same for Case IH 2600 and 4200 series corn heads and New Holland 99C and 980 series corn heads. Before you install your G4s, make sure you maintain proper safety when working under the corn head and around the combine. First, make sure the combine is parked on level ground and lock the brakes. Raise the head and lock it in the upright position and make sure the main cylinder under the feeder house is in a locked position. And always follow your combine's manufacturer safety instructions. And remember, always wear your safety glasses and your work gloves. Your May West G4 stock stompers come with installation instructions and you can also find instructions on maywest.com. The installation process is very straightforward and requires very few tools. You will need a three quarter inch socket, three quarter inch wrench, a bandsaw or chop saw, or any other metal cutting tool that you may have at the farm. This eight row kit comes with eight G4 shoes, torsion units, and mount brackets, four adjustable header brackets, two toolbar splice kits, and three 102 inch toolbars. You can buy the toolbars from us or from your local metal fabrication shop to save you on shipping. The toolbar is a two by two standard toolbar with 3 16 inch sidewall. The first step is to assemble your G4 shoes to your torsion units. Each box will come with two shoes, two torsion units, and two mount brackets per box. Each shoe and torsion unit will take four flange bolts with four flange nuts. And when you take the shoes out of the box, you're gonna know we have a set of three holes on the bottom with three holes on the top. For initial installation, I like to start on the second hole. And if need to be, I can adjust my height one inch up or one inch down. Dependent on tire size, track size, and cut height. Now it's time to mount our header brackets to the four x four tubing you can find on the bottom side of the corn head. In some situations, you'll have to mount this header bracket row center, in which case you'll have to take this shield off and notch that out accordingly to the width of this header bracket. Once you locate the position for the header bracket between the rows, we'll take our U-bolts, slide them up into place, and from there, we can attach our header bracket. Well, these U-bolts will come with locking nuts on them. Once the header bracket is put in place on this 4x4 piece of tubing, the nuts are started on the two U-bolts. We'll center this right between these two row units, and we'll go ahead and get these tightened up right away. In a typical installation, we will take the second piece of our adjustable header bracket and we'll mount that to the furthest hole forward. The bolts that come with the kit 
will be placed from the inside out. I like to put the first two bolts in, let that adjustable bracket hang straight down, and we will start our nuts to keep that bolt from coming out. After we get our first two lock nuts started, we can swing this arm up, locate the holes that line up, and again, from the inside out, we will put our bolt. Once we have our four bolts positioned through the holes, our nuts started, we can now go ahead and tighten these four up. So now we got our first adjustable header bracket located, installed, everything, the hardware all tightened up. It's the same process on this eight row head to do the following with the other three adjustable head brackets. On a 12 row head or larger, there will be six or more adjustable head mounting brackets. On this application for this eight row head, we're gonna position our head mount brackets between rows one and two, three and four, five and six, and seven and eight. These adjustable header brackets are designed to fit the different variations of framework on the Case H 2600, 4200, 4400, and New Holland 99C and 980. Once our header brackets are in place between rows one and two, three and four, five and six, and seven and eight on this Case H 4408, everything's tightened up. I will get the U-bolts that hold the tool bar in place. And for starters, I will start with the very middle hole. I'm just going to start the nut so I can come in and put slide my toolbar right through. After the U-bolts are in place and the nuts just started, I will now slide the first toolbar through these U-clamps. Our G4 kits come with enough toolbars and splice kits to accommodate all row space variations. For this application, we are mounting one 102 inch toolbar on each side with no splice plate. If you do have an application that requires a toolbar splice kit, I like to start the U-bolts on the splice kit. I slide that over the first piece of tubing. I'll bring the second piece of toolbar, pull it up tight, slide that toolbar splice center of the two pieces of the toolbar. Once we tighten it down, that will keep this entire toolbar completely rigid all the way through. Once we have verified equal distance sticking past our adjustable header brackets on both sides of our header brackets between rows one and two and three and four, we can now tighten up our U-bolts. The process is going to be the same for the other side of the head. Our adjustable mount bracket will be between rows 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. I will now attach my two bar mount brackets. I like to position my two bar mount brackets so that the pin guard is always to the outside on both sides of the feeder house. So after all the two bar mount brackets are put in place, my pin guards to the outside, I like to keep these two bar mount brackets loose. And I will then use a buddy system to locate my G4 shoe location. We want to make sure that the center of our G4 shoe is directly in line with row center. And your helper will tell you what location or what direction you need to travel. Another way to locate your position of your two bar mount bracket is we know our adjustable head mount bracket is between rows one and two and three and four. On a 30 inch row, you'll be directly 15 inches from the center of your adjustable head mount bracket 
to the center of your tubular mount bracket. Once we have tightened down our first two bar mount bracket, rows two, three, four, and so on will be fairly simple on a 30 inch row spacing. We know that the center of the two bar mount bracket to the center of the next two bar mount bracket will be 30 inches. How's that look? Our two bar mount brackets are all located tightened down and the last step, is to install the G4 shoe assembly. Once we put our G4 shoes in, we put our pin in, each G4 shoe assembly will come with a safety clip. It is a twist lock safety clip, and that is to prevent corn stalks of getting in there and pulling that clip out. Please note the size of your combine, the size of your tires, the size of your tracks, or the position of your feeder house faceplate will all play a role in the position of your stock stompers. To make further adjustments, you can either raise or lower the two bar on the adjustable head mount bracket, or you can raise or lower the shoe on the torsion unit. All operation and cut height is different. On this 4408 chopping head, I recommend we set these kits up that the bottom of the shoe is running ground level. Our G4 stock stomper shoes are very easy to handle. They're lightweight, they're durable. We can lock them in the operating position. Our shoes are compatible with folding heads. And for different variations of head trailers, we can either lock it in a quarter position Can lock it in the upright position or we can remove the whole assembly itself. When taking the corner head off and put it on the ground, remember always put your jack stand down. Do not support the weight of the head on these molded shoes. And there you have it. This Case IH 4400 series corn head is now equipped with May West G4 stock stompers and is ready for harvest. To order your May West G4 stock stompers, visit your local May West dealer, find us online at maywest.com, or give us a call, 1-800-788-6483.